even made a post on his Twitter that apparently this uh, video really resonates with VTubers, so I'm lacking behind. So here's to catching up. Here's to catching up. Our video game characters, too sexy in all honesty, Astarian is a 10 out of 10, no, an 11 out of 10. No, wait, that would make him too sexy. No, he's just perfect. Astarian is perfect. Do you like hot men? Yes, yes, yes. Do you like attractive women Chat? with big, Ch big hands? What's up, everybody? <laughs> this is the same. Chad, do, do you like, do you like, do you like men? Do you like hot men? Yes. Do you do you like hot man chat? Yes, 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 yes. Do you like attractive women with big personalities? Hands? What's up everybody? This is the sexy man here and today I'm bringing you my top 10 list of video game characters that I jerk off to. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I don't even realize it's that kind of video. <laughs> Number 10. Ergot. <laughs> Number nine. What? Oh. <laughs> Lately, there's been a lot of buzz surrounding the upcoming game Stellar Blade and its <laughs> protagonist Eve. Many gamers are celebrating her provocative design, the exotic outfit she wears, and as a red-blooded male, I can appreciate this as well. What do men like? Sexy women, explosions, car, and war. We learned this the other day, so. Now, I played the demo, it was pretty fun, and I think Stellar Blade is shaping up to be a stellar game. <laughs> On the flip side, some folk claim this type of character design is harmful because it Why? She's hot. women and displays unrealistic body standards. Oh, boo-hoo! She has boobs and looks pretty! How bad! No! The disaster! The blasphemy! Portions. Now, we could ignore the fact that Eve's design was based off of a real human being, and yeah, let's that's ignore exactly that. what we're going to do, because complaining on the internet makes me feel better than ordering the salad. But Understandable. But on the real, there is some- There were radishes there. Do, because Bro, complaining radishes, on the internet oh, makes I... me feel better than ordering the I can eat radishes, but... Eh, they're not that great. Salad. But on the real, there is something to say about body standards in media, sexualization in video games, and how it can affect us. It feels kind of dumb to say this, but there is an ongoing debate around how hot video game characters should be. <laughs> By the way, you all know um, Neo Auto Automata, right? 2B, right? When Yokotaro was asked what his... um. A vision was behind the character design and why she looked the way she looked. He said he liked hot women. And I think that's pretty based. <laughs> that's pretty based. Bro. That's all you need. If you make a character too sexy, then it's misogynistic. But if you don't make every female a supermodel with double D honkers, then your game's woke. How are you supposed to win? Well, today, that's what <laughs> we're just talking can. about. Sex appeal in video games. When is it good? When is it bad? How do you tell the difference? Let's find out. Why are games marketed like Stellar Blade? Because it appeals to the male fantasy. And that's not a bad thing. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. Why are video games now filled with soft porn heroines with ridiculously large breasts? Why? Because fellas like big titty bitches. Next article writes. <laughs> Some weird fucking news. True. Shakespeare couldn't have said it better himself. I mean, that's that's about it. For a long time, gaming was a male-dominated hobby, so naturally, developers made games that appealed to men. This was much more apparent in the olden days where publishers had to rely on the box art to grab your attention. This... Understandably so. Certainly grabs my attention. Hey, how's that yep. new pinball game coming <laughs> along? You know, Microsoft needs it out for the Xbox by May. Well, boss, it's looking great. But to be honest, pinball on console is a hard sell. It's kind of boring. So how can we spice it up? Fuck it, like this? <laughs> Wait, this is just pinball? <laughs> it's women, naked women with guns. Let's go. Oh, 
with guns and swords on it. American Pinball Reborn. God bless America! Rated E for everyone. This might come as a shock to some of you, so brace yourselves. Sex sells in every industry. I don't... No, well, don't say it so, please. Believe it. The same rules that apply to Hollywood and movie stars apply to gaming. People like things that are attractive. They had goddesses stand around and look pretty for the midnight release of Halo 3. Blizzard paid Megan Fox to promote Diablo 4, and that was the best thing that came out of Diablo 4. The developers of a game called he's Sun Episodes wrong. Emergence. He, he, he is not wrong. <laughs> He, he's not wrong, chat. He's not wrong. Release a Halo 3. Blizzard paid Megan Fox to promote Diablo 4. And she fell off. I agree, though. She's not that hot that anymore. That was the but best thing that came he's out not of wrong. Diablo 4. The developers of a game called Sin Episodes Emergence hired a porn star to cosplay as one of their characters. <laughs> nice. Nice. South Park based. Sex appeal is an easy way to get the attention of men, but that's nothing new to video games. It wasn't yeah. new when Laura Croft debuted with her pyramid breasts. And it's not new with Eve and her ridiculous <laughs> ponytail. But what has changed is the industry. It's much more complex and diverse now. There are more female gamers than ever before. I tell you what changed. People are pussies now. So how do we sell games to them? Uh, maybe we could push out more dishwashing and cooking simulators? Perhaps we could sexualize women <laughs> less, portray them in a more realistic, less idealized way. I'm a straight woman and I say I like my, uh, booba. I like my tasteful booba. I like my tasteful thighs. I may not want to fuck them, but I may want to look like them. You know? No. No, man. <laughs> Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. But I- My B. My B. My B. My B. Oh, shit, no. Bro, that was perfectly timed, though. Holy shit, that was perfectly timed. Uh, maybe we could push out more dishwashing and cooking simulators? Perhaps we could sexualize women less, portray them in a more realistic, less idealized way. No. 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 no, man. No. Shit, no, man. I no. believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. But I think a better solution is to sexualize men more. Picture this. Ace Attorney 7 drops, and the second case... He's cooking. He's cooking! ...takes place on a beach. This is nothing more than an excuse for... BAM! Shirtless Miles Edgeworth. Watch the fangirls go crazy. Instant yeah, 1 million copies yeah. sold within 24 hours. Capcom, you can send me the royalty checks. <laughs> but seriously, if there is a major issue around objectifying women in video games, I say go ahead and objectify men too. It's not yeah. like we can change yeah. the fact that sex sells and companies are going to use yeah. it to sell products. So why not level the playing field a bit? Hot, ripped, muscly men like me, uh, which Way to the beach. Same. Look at me. So ripped. Appeal to women just as much as they do to gay guys. League of Legends has just as many sex. Bro, Trendomel was just well, like a hot damn. Dudes as it does chicks. I mean, just case in point. Bum! There's a tendency for websites. Where both sides of this debate meet in the middle, I think it's a worthwhile debate to be had. But at the extreme ends, this rabbit hole goes so much deeper than it should. That is true. True, true, true. Hold up. Those you wanna chips. you wanna look at Brom I mean, again? Just... Here, here's Brom. There you go, chat. Brom. Brom is here. My mother always said I don't remember the line. <laughs> Case in point. There's a tendency for websites such as Kotaku to post articles like Baldur's Gate 3 slyly adds jiggle physics for dicks. I can't believe they did that, man. I can't fucking believe that's so funny. I love it. Balls. They will celebrate when men are sexualized, but not women. You ask me, that's a little sexist, Kotaku. Trill. Stark's depiction of female Trill. characters feels a decade out of place. If you're fine with people thirsting over those shirtless Leon Kennedy mods or the mods where Chris Redfield is just fucking naked for the entirety what? of Village, then you should also be fine with people thirsting over Lady Dimitrescu. 
Now yes. to clarify, there is a big difference between what a developer makes and what their audience makes of it. Just ask Jeff Kaplan. But if we held developers responsible for the actions and words of their community, well, the Call of Duty devs would be on trial for crimes against humanity. So this does... <laughs> like, even Greeks uh, were making statues to look like demigods without even a drop of fat on the, this muscle. Yeah! 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 Sexualize everyone! Pull everyone out! It doesn't apply to, like, multiplayer voice chat stuff. But what, if anything, is wrong with Stellar Blade in particular? Let's check out some articles and see if we can find the answer. IGN France posted a review of the demo, saying mostly positive things about it. However, mm -hmm. there was one paragraph people really took issue with. Oh, the no. design of the game, particularly its characters, highlights an obvious bias, and the result is not really a success. It's not new, oh. and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters. But where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or a 2B inspires an entire generation of cosplayers. He can mention 2B in the same sentence, praising 2B, but saying Stella Blade is that she's just bland. What in particular about 2B stands out that... How is 2B such an amazing design compared to E from Stella Blade? Like, how can you be so delusional? But you know, and 2B are also sexy women like Stella Blade. Literally. Like, I, I, I don't know much about Bayonetta, right? I, I know a whole lot about 2B, though. Of course, the visor. Yes! The visor! You're such unique character design, ya! Yeah. Oh my god. Tubi has said! Tubi's design is based on Yoko Taras. I like hot women! Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland. A doll sexualized by someone you would think has never seen a woman. Is that a woman? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of problems. What? Is that a woman? Jesus! <laughs> Is that woman? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of problems with this. First off, Eve isn't even sexualized within the context of the game or the events of the demo. Like, she doesn't flirt with anyone. She's not pushing her tits together, leaning over, asking for a ride. Oh my god, it's funny because people were saying the same thing about Bayo when Bayonetta 1 and 2 came out. Same with 2B as well. I know, right? People are so fucking dumb. <coughs> Like, for example, Jesus was portrayed in sculptures completely ripped and it wasn't sexual? Oh. Okay. You had people before Stellar Blade is legit saying it was killing women. What? What? She never says, like, Ugh, who wants to have sex with me? It's not even a factor at all. Like, bro, if you want to complain about hypersexualized characters, go play Soul Calibur, okay? Hop into the character creator and you can make your tits super huge. Hell yeah! Also, the demo is like an hour long with about 15 minutes of cutscene. I played like, I think like two hours of Stella Blade, maybe three. I don't know how many in total. I think it's a good game. At the time, I had to stop playing because I didn't have my, um, I got to capture card yet. No, I could pick up the game again, but you know. Uh, the hype kind of died down and I might just play it in my own time. I don't know exactly. That's not enough time to give like a detailed character assessment or review. So a lot of people I are complaining about Stellar you. Blade at the moment based on assumptions. What they think the game is going to be like when it actually comes out. Comparing Eve to Bayonetta in 2B isn't fair at all because those are characters that have been around for a long time. And... <laughs> Hey, chat. Wait. <laughs> Do I see some lookings in chat? <laughs> uh, can, I, can I have some lookings in chat? B isn't fair at all because those are characters that have been around for a long time. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn! And they appear in games that are completed and have been released to the public. Let's try another article, though. Developer of Stellar Blade fails. 
Well, damn! ...to recognize the game's sexism. This was posted before the demo came out. So just based on the six minute showcase, there is something striking when you look closely at the images of this aesthetically this isn't as defined as Bayonetta's. That's a kind. Of, that's kind of. That's not good, but still very, very respectable. Not as defined as Bayonetta, but she's she's got a good ass. A successful action game. The heroine is ultra sexy. In less than six minutes, we see her wearing outfits, each more improbable than the last. The message is clear: the shorter, the more skin visible, the better. I'm not sure what trailer you watched, but there's like maybe nine seconds of footage where Eve's thighs are partially hey, exposed. And, but besides that, it's just her arms. Like, where is this explicit overt sexualization that I seem to be missing? Is every woman in tights supposed to be a sex object? Uh, yeah, yeah. However, we are talking about a character responsible for getting rid of an enemy threat in a post-apocalyptic context. So the old, her outfit isn't practical or realistic argument sometimes has merit. But I don't think it does with Stellar Blade or Bayonetta. Neither game is going for a realistic setting. Uh, it like really if doesn't. Call of Duty had established yeah. itself as a grounded military... When is this game coming to BC? I don't even know if it, if it is coming to BC. It might be. I don't know. Harry Shooter and then got rid of military factions and threw Nicki Minaj in as a playable character. Well, that would be pretty fucking cringe, wouldn't it? I forgot about that. I had, I had written that out of my memory. I completely deleted this. I. I, I just realized the pause. I just realized the pause. Hey, yo! Bayonetta is a witch and Eve is an ODST that stole Tracer's spandex. As long as they don't look stupid and they fit within the universe, I don't see either as a problem. Leggings Same. so close to the body that it feels like a second skin. This guy has more problems with the tights industry than he does with the game. That's what <laughs> leggings are. She has a nice bod and plenty of outfits to customize gamers like customizing and playing yes dresser. we do bayonetta is arguably more sexualized but she's considered a paragon of female representation and strong female characters so again what is the actual problem the character there, there's no actual problem it's just twitter is simply too sexy act man that's the issue it's difficult not to see a sexualization of women, a practice which tended to disappear in the latest video game productions. Did you forget what, what one game of the year in 2023? What I like the most is that every companion is so extremely fuckable. I want to. <laughs> what? Wait! I. Wait! I did not see I that coming. All of them. I do not only want to fuck all of them, I want to I wanna be with them forever, for the rest of my life. However, this... I get where she's coming from, though. I can, I can totally see where she's coming from. I was, I, I, I was parasocial with my, my characters when I was playing Baldur's Gate, man. I was being parasocial with my characters. Is that even possible? I... Um... Bro! Bro... <sighs> <gasps> Choice is 100% assumed by the developer with arguments that are beyond belief. The director of Stellar Blade attempted to justify the project's irredeemably sexy argument. In terms of design, we focused on the back of the character because players are always facing her when playing. That's what they see the most, so it's very important. Mm -hmm. We didn't know mm -hmm, that a character's mm -hmm. charisma is first measured by the perfection of their posterior. Jesus Christ, man, go touch grass. Wow. When I play a game, I want to see someone who is prettier than me. I don't want to see someone normal. I want to see an ideal. I think it's important for entertainment. And after all, it is entertainment aimed at an adult audience. What you say is heresy. These are the unbelievable arguments. I wanted my video game protagonist to look good. I, I do want my video game protagonist to look good. I do like being pretty in a video game. How could you say something so brave yet so controversial? Like this is sexist now? Well, shit. I don't want to be sexist and play this, so from now on, I'm only playing games with ugly protagonists. Chat, prettiness is over. Embrace ugliness. <laughs> we all need to roll orcs now. Sorry to tell you, man. No longer can we look pretty. We all 
Oh my god, it's this game. Oh my god. Bro, this game is such a fever game. Bro, I remember this character. I remember playing a PlayStation 1 game with this character. Like... I thought I dreamed it. It actually happened. Bro, this actually existed. And like, I remember like, it, it was like some sort of fucking platformer where you had to like, uh, fix puzzles and shit and then Sometimes we were like channeling and, and like squatting down like, we like <laughs> Like they just made a hot protagonist and gave her a bunch of outfits, that's it And for some, that's the issue, the unrealistic body st Odd world was great, the actness was stylized, it was That are detrimental to women who consume this sort of media. And we'll get into that later on, but I want to look at some good and bad examples of sex appeal in video games. You see, it's not whether- I, I, I thought I was playing the music by mistake in the background, but no, it's just in his video. you sexualize characters in a video game, it's how you do it. Games like Tra Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk, Dragon like Age, or- I bought Cyberpunk uh, recently, by the way, chat. I bought when it was on the 50% off sale. Would you guys want me to, uh, would you guys want to see me play Cyberpunk, by the way? Because I, I was, um, I'm on the fence, basically, if I should stream it or just play it, uh, by myself. Um, so yeah. Great game. Is a good game now? Of course. Maybe I'll play it then. Maybe, maybe I'll save it then. Then, then I'll save it. Then I'll save it for stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Origins, KOTOR, and Mass Effect offer a diverse cast of male and female companions to simp for and they all feel like real people their personality is not solely defined by how sexy they are you can chat anyone else fucked the uh... <laughs> anyone else did this i was so disappointed right the night right after she just let you fall down like uh... Bitch was so fucking disrespectful after I just reloaded. I reloaded afterwards, man. I fucking reloaded. Bitch was so fucking disrespectful to me. That I was like, no, fuck you. This never happened. We never did this. Fuck you. You can fuck bears in Baldur's Gate 3 and you can fuck aliens in Mass Effect. There's also options for same-sex romance. You still hate the game for catfishing you? Wait, which game? <laughs> So buy a game when they're on sale too? Nice. Yeah, yeah, of course. Gotta save money where you can, you know? You don't see too many- Wait, what do you mean you got catfished in BG3? Oh my god, are you talking about the Emperor? Are you talking about the Emperor? Oh my god, man. No, no big spoilers though, no big spoilers. Fuck aliens in Mass Effect. There's also options for same-sex romance. Mass Effect, if you, so can... you don't see too many people well, complaining about point, that. Then. If you're gay or a little bi-curious or just want to see how those- romances can play out those options exist they add diversity to a game in rpg in a very yep and boulder skate did it fucking correctly be because boulder skate gave you the the options you could be gay you could not be gay you could be straight you could be bi you could be fucking everything you you could be in a poly relationship if you really wanted to you could do anything ever if you in bg3 a good way you know, this old reliable clip is actually relevant to the discussion for once. I wrote a blog post a while ago about why oh. I f***ing hate- It's her. ...video games, because this is what it does. It appeals to, like, the male fantasy. Wait, this isn't the right video. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta switch to this. You know what? Fuck no, this, uh, this very much appeals. I would say oh this appeals God, to the male John Mars I all this appears to the female fantasy too. <laughs> but Red Dead 2 is the perfect game to illustrate the power <laughs> of diversity. And perhaps sex appeal. Because RDR2 appeals to the male and female gaze. Just as you can customize the outfits for Eve, you can do the same with Arthur. There are compilations of women thirsting over Arthur. And all I gotta say is, back off, ladies. He's mine. And <laughs> My bad! My BG! That one appeal to the male gaze. <laughs> Fair! It appealed to everyone! 
Uh, my bad, low act, man. My bad. And I also oh. just weirdly really liked the. Oh my god. Oh my. Hey. Hey, yo. Really? I'm so jealous of her. I'm so jealous. Our wonderful, one of our wonderful assistant directors, Gethin Aldis, he says, Raj, we gotta do those horse lines again. I was like, why? And he said, well, it's a little too intimate. You know, it sounds like you're not talking to a horse. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and he played it back and I was like, you're all right, girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and if I can thirst over Sadie Adler like a parched baboon. Sadie Adler. Women who play RDR2 can simp for Arthur Morgan. Again, it comes down to both of these characters feeling like real complex people that you can just inherently find attractive. It's called personality. There's no mystery behind good writing. It boils True. down to the developer's intentions and goals with their characters and their game. If you want to make a graphic visual novel kind of game, Probably don't call it sex with Hitler. <laughs> I actually remember this pee on the steam fucking new and trending. I remember this pee on the steam true new and trending. This is my kind of game chat. This is real. This is on Steam. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's my good dig. Thanks for the follow. It might be a good start. And there are egregious and what I would consider bad examples of sexualization in video games. Isabella from Dragon Age 2 is just this. Fallen Shade, thanks for the Smelly follow. Smelly pirate hooker. Like, that's mostly her character. Now, I'm mm -hmm. biased because I'd rather eat goat diarrhea than play Dragon Age 2, but even then, Isabella still has more going on. She's mostly a smelly pirate hooker, but my mm -hmm. issues with her character have more to do with the romance system. It isn't just okay. writing. Bad sexualization can be tied to the game mechanics. You want to romance um, this character? J just hit the icon with the heart on it. You'll be contracting gonorrhea in no time. Yay! <laughs> Gameplay! I don't mind the dialogue wheel on Mass Effect, but when it comes to gaining approval or influence with characters and romancing them in an RPG, I much prefer titles like KOTOR and Dragon Age Origins. BG3 did this one beautifully. Because you have to figure out and pick the dialogue option that a character will respond to. You actually have to flirt and riz them up. Syphil is gonna catch them all. <laughs> Not the Syphil! Yeah, maybe there was the Time Splitter's future perfect joke that went a little too far. You go first. Okay. <laughs> the oversexualization in that game is part parody and part fan service. Personally, I have always. Hey, yo! Mama Sita, who is she? Ivy Valentine's design to be hilarious and over the top. And that has been a topic of debate for a long time. But her design is also iconic. She has earned a place in gaming culture. Some female characters are defined by their sex appeal while others ride the line in between. Samus is hot, but yeah. she's also like a real person, kind of. Dead or Alive <laughs> Extreme Volleyball takes sex appeal to- Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball? To an extreme level and it's mostly a gimmick but at the same time the game was an impressive display of physics on the other hand you've got something like the new <laughs> Sable trailer which a lot of people reacted negatively to they blasted the design of this female character and well she does look pretty silly i think people would have reacted a lot better to this trailer if they had taken the angle of our protagonist is the antithesis of your typical hero and she's thrust into the role of being a hero but the trailer doesn't try to tell you that. All I'm seeing is ugly face. Boy. This character is just kind of ugly for no real reason. Like in Beautiful Joe, you play as a comic book movie nerd who gets sucked into the movie and has to become a hero, even though he's a fucking nerd. He's a guide. He's the antithesis. That could have worked for Fable, but they don't really tell that story in the trailer. So it comes across like it's made to appeal to the body positivity crowd and a lot of 
Hey, the po body positivity crowd only matters if it's a fat chick. That's all. That's only when the body positivity crowd matters. No other time. Sorry to tell you. Gamers just don't care for that. I don't think we've seen really, really bad examples of sexualization in video games in a long time. Custer's Revenge is one of those notoriously awful games, which they hit the double whammy. They were racist and sexist, and they made the game that way deliberately to generate outrage and publicity. Some tactics never go out of style. Duke Nukem Forever is also Duke an Nukem! awful example because the game was terrible, wasn't worth the wait. What the fuck? And a lot of the jokes just weren't funny. Power armor is for pussies. Um, well, okay. So it felt outdated. Recent worst example of sexualization, of course, goes to Ride to Hell Retribution. You kill a group of dudes and then immediately start banging a chick. <laughs> well, what did I say? Naked women, guns, war. Explosions. <laughs> With all your clothes on, women are quite literally an objective in Ride to Hell. Man, that fucking game. But going back to the real issue, body positivity, unrealistic body standards in video games, and by extension, all media. Multiple studies have shown that both women and men feel lower levels of self-esteem when consuming media where characters have that ideal body. Now, you don't really need to stop. Come again? Yeah. Multiple studies have shown that both women and men feel lower levels of self-esteem when consuming media where characters have that ideal body. Tell me the percentage. Tell me the fucking percentage. Body. Now, you don't really need a study to tell you this because if you're a dude and you've ever watched 300 and thought, damn, I'm a fat ass, well, then you're just like me. But you also probably don't think about what Gerard Butler went through to... Wow. That's... From this to look wow, that in the same way you probably wow. don't think about how much time game developers spend on creating attractive characters, how much concept art and designs they have to create. But the problem with feeling insecure about your body image is an issue that nobody can fix but you. Feeling like your body type is being represented in media is a surface level solution that ignores the real issue. I, I don't get it when I see a buff guy. I'm like, I want to be like him. Time to hit the gym. That's what I'm thinking when I see a like, hot woman, you know, like 2B. Like, I'm like, she's so hot. I want to be like her. I want to be hot like 2B. Damn, I'm a fat ass. Get it. <laughs> I think a lot of people who write these articles essentially complaining that characters are too sexy. I think that comes from a place of insecurity or just a grift. Every woman on the yeah. planet has struggled with her self-image. And to all the ladies watching this right now, you look great without makeup. And every Thank you. man has struggled with his own physique and confidence. It's pretty funny. There was this tweet. Microsoft urges developers not to create female characters with exaggerated body proportions. And I replied, yes, of course. We wouldn't want any exaggerated body proportions on male characters. Yeah, of course we wouldn't want that. Make us men feel insecure. We wouldn't look at want the replies, that. Well, first off... <laughs> This is the guy who was the art director. Damn! For Gears of War. Actual unit! Also, I recently reviewed the first Gears of War. You shouldn't watch that video at all. That's how reverse psychology works, right? Okay, sweet. <laughs> but a lot of people in the replies were like, I aspire to be Marcus Phoenix. I live seven days a week there trying to look like Marcus Phoenix. There I it must is. go to the gym more. Daddy, sorry! Daddy, sorry! Rip, rip, rip. I'm feeling a strange and sudden urge to hit the gym. The men in Gears of War aren't realistic, but the women are. Dude, her tits are way too big. That is clearly like a C cup or bigger. Right. Looks like it was made by like a horny 15 year old, and we're trying to be a little bit more mature than that. <laughs> and this goes well back to the, do they have realistic outfits or not? And I think Cliff is right. If this lady had huge knockers, it would just kind of distract from the war, you know? But seeing ideal beauty or attractiveness in media or video games if it makes you feel insecure, you should use <laughs> that tells more about you than about the medium you consume. Those feelings of insecurity to better yourself. Go on a walk, eat healthier food. Ideally, that's what people would do, but that's not always the case. If you're trying to condemn or criticize a piece of media because the characters are sexy and that made you feel bad about yourself, then that sounds like a you problem. I hope literally skill issue. You work on that. Lord grant me the strength to accept the things I cannot change. 
the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. None of us can change that. Did he just quote the Bible and it made sense? Hey, yo. Sex sells. It's a marketing tool. You can't get rid of it in media or business. So the best thing to do is become the best version of yourself. In my experience, actual sexism in video games happens in voice chat or mostly at the studio. True, true, true. And don't forget, don't forget about how some Blizzard employees stole some breast milk. <laughs> And I think focusing too much on whether this character is too hot or not distracts from the conversations people should be having about how women are treated in the workplace and in the game industry. What's really obnoxious is when people try to Photoshop official character art to be more or less sexy. Oh my god, yeah, I hate that. Some kind of point? Is it just me or is Why? This shit kind of weird. Like, hey, the marketing for GTA... She's basically flat chested in the right one. She's chubby and flat chested. Like she's on the way to being chubby. She's not really, really chubby, but she's on the way to being ch chubby. And being chubby would automatically mean you have boobs. She doesn't have no boobs. She ain't got no boobs. Where are the tits? A5 would have been much better if the chick with the cell phone was fatter. What? Why did you do this to Cortana? What the fuck? <laughs> She's a fucking man-made AI. She's not a real person. Are some of these body types really that unrealistic? We live in a world of plastic surgery for God's sake. Then there was Horizon Forbidden West where there was like a couple shots in oh one of the God. trailers. Uh, here, here we go. Aloy looked a little chubby, and some people started freaking out about. Uh, she still looks fucking pretty in the game, man. People are so fucking dumb. Uh, they were like, "Well, what? What would she look like if she slapped?" I hate this one. I hate this so much, shit. I hate this so much. Oh yes, post-apocalyptic world. Let's put makeup, and. Oh. Gathered a bunch of makeup on her face. I just think obsessing over this kind of stuff isn't healthy. If you're going to obsess over it, then do so in the gym. It's important to note that the problem with this whole debacle is not about Eve's design. The problem is quite simple. Yeah, what's so bad? A game developer and thousands of internet users are bluntly describing Eve as an ideal woman. The only woman that men want to see. Make it stop. See. Also, labeling Eve as the only kind of woman men want to see is wrong on so many levels. Dudes will thirst over anything with a pair of tits. True. Very, 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 very true. <laughs> Despite having specific outlets for this content, it now needs to be injected into all media to cater solely to them. How is this any different from putting realistic body standards in video games to cater to a different crowd? It's not. What? Company make product because want money? Dove is challenging what? narrow beauty stereotypes within the games industry with a new campaign that promotes avatars that look like real women. Just so you can, so, just so you all can see the image. I'm just. <laughs> Again, you have to remember huh? that these companies are fucking massive and they're making these decisions because they think it's going to increase revenue. You've got Stellar Blade, which is like, hey, let's lean a little bit into sex appeal to sell the game. And then you've got, let's portray women in a normal way to sell the product. Literally. And Aloy is so pretty. She looks normal and so pretty at the same time, man, bro. Aloy is so goddamn pretty. And both of these things are fine. But you can't pretend you're better than the opposite side if your end goal is the same. Money. Now, some people are only going to care about what Stellar Blade Scripps represents noises. in their ongoing culture war. But at the end of the day, what matters most to folk like me is if the game is awesome or bad. Yes. Is Eve yes. going to be a flat, lifeless husk? Or an interesting character who just so happens to be a baddie with a gyat that won't quit. Yeah. In conclusion, Rule 34 has been around for about 20 years. People are going to sexualize your game and your characters even if you don't. <laughs>
It's a toaster. They sexualize toasters, man. People sexualize toasters. Sex appeal in gaming isn't inherently a problem, but there are pretty clear ways of doing it right and doing it wrong. Instead of wasting our energy discussing things that will never change, maybe we should focus on the design and fun factor of the game. If it's Just visually appealing or sake. God forbid how women are treated in the actual workplace in the game industry. The recent controversy around Eve and Stellar Blade isn't a new phenomenon. I think it's ridiculous to criticize it for shallow reasons like the character is too hot. It made me feel bad. And it's I, 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 DJ, play that back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey! And it's equally absurd to criticize a protagonist that isn't hot enough. Is the design good or not? Does the character have a reason to look like this? Sure, there are some instances of objectification and bad sexualization in video games, but in my experience, these are pretty rare. Unrealistic characters. It uh, can affect the average Joe or Jill's self-esteem. But at the end of the day, you have to learn how to be happy with your own image. Nobody can do that for you. Your self-esteem is not the responsibility of some multi-billion dollar corporation. Sex yep. sells, and you can't fight that truth. Uh, uh, as simple as that, sex sales, trip, and companies just want to make money, so... Of course! <laughs> any more than you can fight gravity. That's the way it is. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Let me know who you think the sexiest video game character is in the comments below. All right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This is the Sexy Man signing out. Peace. See ya. <laughs> the Sexy Man signing out. <laughs> Eggman has a rule 34. Don't ask me why I looked at... Mm, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm gonna look it up on my second monitor. Uh, control shift. What was it? N? Here we go. Uh, ain't no fucking way. Let's see. Oh, yep. That's a lot of... The act... Man. Search. Oh, do I have to take Eggman TV? Which one is it? Oh, it's the Eggman, right? Ugh, why is it taking forever to load? Ain't nobody got shit for this time, man. Ain't nobody got shit for this time. Bitch, a website ain't loading. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, if you know how many pieces there are on the website, let me know. Let me, let me, let me know. Let me know. Type it either in chat right now or let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thanks for watching.